And welcome back inside Monin Park. We are about to start our senior day ceremony. And our first senior will be number three, Gianni is really junior. It's really junior since coming to Boston has appeared in 98 games coming into today. This will be just his 99th and Assuming he starts in game two, which we have to believe he will at shortstop, he'll be his 100th career game. And during his career, he's had a 279 average. Became the newest member of the 100 hit club and also has 72 runs scored and 42 extra base hits. In his Beacon career, you see him out there with his family. A great bunch of people as well. Got to meet them down in Florida. And now Drew Metzdorf, our next one. Been on the team for two years after transferring from Amherst and Plymouth State. Played in 72 games as a Beacon and hit 339 with 93 hits, 71 runs scored, 65 RBIs, and a 657 slugging percentage. Another big year. Got to talk to him a little while. I got to talk to some of the staff who have said Metzdorf is looking to potentially play at grad school at some point. And Chris Duco, next one coming out there. He's been a versatile four-year player for the Beacons. He's played in 63 games before tonight's games and had a career-high 12 hits last year and finished with a 308 slugging percentage and registered a career-best four stolen bases. Duco, another great guy who I had a chance to talk to at length down in Florida during the spring trip. One of the most welcoming people on this team. And we just saw him a little while ago, but uh, Alessio Pressamarina is our fourth senior. He's made his presence known in and outside of the bullpen. He's appeared in eight games this year. Excuse me, eight games in three seasons. He's appeared four times this year, actually, now, after that last half inning that he did in the ninth inning. He's had 11 and one-thirds relief innings before today, so 12 now, 10 strikeouts. He's held opponents under 300 for average against. Connecticut guy, also where I'm from before moving up to the Boston area. They got Aiden Blake, number nine, the next one coming out. He's been a a driving force for UMass Boston since coming here, and he's appeared in 99 career games, so just hit number 100 today. Been in the starting lineup 97 times now after that last appearance, and got a career average of 331 with 112 hits and 84 RBIs. Entered today with a 565 slugging percentage, which is fifth best all-time in program history. Another great guy who very welcoming in the spring me down in Florida with the team. Love to shout out some of these guys for characters they are off the field as much as they are players. They are people off the field too and sometimes we forget to recognize that and I like to make sure we do that as Nick Assad who appeared in game number one walks out and in his only season with the Beacons he's appeared in seven games before today and had 15 strikeouts coming into the day made five starts as well. Best appearance was against Tufts, where he had four strikeouts and only allowed two hits. You see Assad going through the line there. Had some time to talk to Nick down in Florida as well. Battling an eye injury at the time, and it was super interesting to just hear about his journey through college. And now we see Dylan Ryan come out there. 29th career start in game number one. 29 appearances. He was a starter 20 times. Five and five career record now, five and six after game number one. One hundred and thirteen innings of work coming in today, so one sixteen overall now, with 153 strikeouts entering play today. He's also ties him fourth all time in program history. So now after today's performance, we'll move ahead of that fourth all time mark. Now Nick Palma coming out. Palma been through a lot with his time as a beacon, but 
a tremendous guy, tremendous player. His family was super welcoming down in Florida. His father, his aunt, who's probably watching from Atlanta right now. So if you're listening, hi, it's Michael again. <laughs> He's the lone player from the Beacons 2019 College World Series team. And during his time here, has 47 hits, 27 runs scored in 108 games played. And this season, played in a career-high 31 games, earning a start in every one of those contests. Probably see him playing in game two. He's there with his father, who's at every home game, even down in Florida. A die-hard family when it comes to baseball. Thomas Kirsch now coming out, number 31. He's appeared in 31 games in four seasons for the Beacons. He has 46 strikeouts in 40 and two-thirds innings of work and has picked up five wins and earned a spot in the starting lineup three times. Now, Josh Eastman, <laughs> the beast from the Little East, as I like to call him, has helped us at the Beacon Broadcast Network quite a bit this year. Like it says right here in the script, a presence on and off the hill while working for us. Battled through injuries to play in the final month of the season. Two starts, both wins, 11 strikeouts combined. Eastman, partial tear in the UCL down in Florida and you know, you would have thought the season was over, but nope. Eastman said, I'm coming back for more. And he's changed his approach, and he's looked pretty good in the two starts he's gotten since then. And it'll be a pleasure to see how the rest of the season plays out for him. As Craig Corliss, the final senior of this afternoon, three seasons. He's had 108 hits, 308 career batting average, 41 extra base hits. Has a career slugging percentage of 459, and coming today had 85 RBIs and 51 runs scored. Corliss, somebody who I'm very familiar with during his time with the New Britain Bees, and had a chance to chat with him about his time with the New Britain Bees down in Florida as well. He's our final 11th senior of the day. Folks, that's your UMass Boston senior class this year. A tremendous group of individuals on and off the field getting recognized between game one and game two. Not the game we wanted to see, obviously, in game one from UMass Boston, but they have a chance to redeem themselves in game number two, which will be coming up shortly as I'm going to hop off the air. We'll keep it live for a little bit longer to show the seniors getting all together for the final picture, and then we'll end the stream and hop on over to the game two stream as we get set for game two of this Little East Conference doubleheader here on the Beacon Broadcast Network brought to you by LittleEast.tv. But for now, this is Michael Veshi signing off from game number one at Monin Park. See you in about 30 minutes from now. I'd like to also give a hand to my broadcasting crew of Elena Albano, who just stepped in, Ali Albano, who's here. Gina, we miss you. We know you're in New York right now. Malik Lorquet, who is up here. Georgia Bonnie. Dave Wahlberg hopped on graphics for a bit. We have Mike Manzo doing camera, Sarah St. Surin up top, who's always been great on camera one, and Margot Butters to my right here doing camera on the first base side. Some tremendous action from her, both on the rink this year and working for us this spring. And then we've got Elsa Vanaco over there and our PA announcer, Todd, and Addie Buddington doing music. For now, this is Michael Veshi signing off for game one. We'll see you in a little bit for game number two here at Monin Park.